What's going on guys? So I know I haven't been posting that much lately and um, this video hopefully will explain that. So basically I have been uh, dealing with the dealership that I bought my FA5 with non-stop lately and the warranty company that, uh, the aftermarket warranty company that I went through with with my uh, 2009 Honda Civic Si when I financed it. Most of you guys probably already know this. Uh, for returning people, you don't know this. My Si currently has like a cracked head gasket, cracked head, cracked block, something in that area that is making it leak coolant internally and externally. The external leaks aren't really obvious. I did like a pressure test and I didn't see anything coming out, but other than that, um, obviously I've been trying to get my car fixed. Obviously I can't drive my car with this problem. So since I bought the car with the warranty, I figured, oh, okay, um, I could just go down to a Honda dealership and the car is covered. No big deal. So I scheduled an appointment with Manchester Honda in Connecticut and I schedule it about a month in advance because their schedule was packed because of holidays and whatever and winter coming up so people want to get the car serviced. I waited till um, December 12th, no, December 14th. So recently, December 14th, I dropped my car off there. I told them what was wrong, whatever. I told them I had the warranty, I told them it was surge. They're like, all right, cool, we'll give them a call. Um, we'll give them a call before we start the job, just in case like anything goes wrong, like if, the, if it happens not to be covered. I'm like, don't worry about it, man. It, it's definitely covered when I bought the car. I told them to hook me up with like the best warranty available. So, um, anyways, a few hours later, um, I'm at my house and I get a phone call from Honda. So when I pick up the phone, I could tell something wasn't right. And uh, the guy's like, yeah, man, so basically the warranty that you have in honest terms is pretty crap. Most of the stuff in the engine isn't even covered. Uh, the guy that I talked to or the guy that the service manager talked to from Honda the warranty company uh, said that only lubricated parts are covered under this warranty. And when I signed for it, I had no clue about that. I thought I was getting like basically replace an engine. Like if something goes wrong, they'll throw a new K20 and pay like something like four grand for it. It's ridiculous. So I'm like, wow. I'm like, all right, well, don't touch the car because I'm not, I can't afford this. And I'm like, I'm going to deal with the insurance company or the warranty company and I'm going to deal with the uh, Honda that I bought it from. And I'm going to try to figure something out so the next day I call the Honda that I bought the car from and I'm like oh no no I didn't call Honda first I called the warranty company first no I want to make sure it actually wasn't covered and I'm like hey guys um, I just got off the phone with Manchester Honda I brought my car to be serviced there and they said it's not covered I'm like I just want to know what's going on why it's not covered what warranty what is covered and he's like he says the same exact thing yeah only lubricated parts are covered man I'm sorry uh, if it's a cracked gasket cracked head, cracked uh, block, it's not covered. Um, you're gonna have to pay out of pocket for that. So I'm like, wow, wow. I had no clue about that. So I called the dealership that I bought it from in New York, Terrytown, New York. And I'm like, hey guys, um, I just got off the phone with Manchester Honda and the warranty company that I purchased a warranty for my SI. And they're telling me that my car isn't covered. They're like, all right, well, what's wrong? I'm like, um, my engine is leaking coolant really bad internally, externally. Um, I can't drive. The coolant is me mixing with the oil. It looks like freaking foam in there. And basically the guy's like, I don't know who you talk to, man, but it is covered. He's like, sometimes these warranty companies could be a little tricky. And I'm like, well, I shouldn't have to deal with this. Like, did you guys hook me up with like some sketchy warranty company or something? Maybe I should have been smarter and like read through the fine details before just signing off. But yeah, the whole thing was sketchy. And the guy's like, yeah, we're gonna get the car towed down to us and we're gonna fix it. We're gonna talk to the warranty company and they're gonna cover for you. So I'm like, all right, cool. So it, the car got towed down there about four or five days ago. I haven't heard from them yet. I've been calling them. Um, I don't know what the hell they're doing with the car. I'm gonna give them a few more days. I'm gonna call them again, and hopefully something will be done. Whether it's a new engine, new gasket, whatever. I just 
want this car fixed at this point. In the beginning, I wanted a whole new engine, but beggars can't be choosers. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing and hopefully we can get that side back on the road. I'm sure it's gonna be up back on the road very soon because it is covered. And if not, we're gonna have to get a whole new project car. But for now, expect new videos with the EX and um, I'm, I'm gonna start doing some work on that. But another thing guys, why I haven't been posting so much, I'm actually moving out of my house. So that's been really difficult uh, for me, like time management. I haven't been able to fill in much. Everything's been really hectic these past couple months, including work, it's been crazy. So I just want you guys to understand, more videos are to come. Um, I'm definitely trying to keep to my one video a week schedule. I actually want to bring it back up to like two or three videos a week. And I want to expand my videos. Um, I want to start doing like pranks, challenges, uh, just maybe like vlog type stuff. I don't know what you guys want to see, but I definitely want to expand like the people I'm interacting with. I want a, a better variety, a wider variety. So um, let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know what pranks you guys might want to see, what challenges, whatever. Um, Oh, and another thing, shout out my boy Javier for letting me borrow the stock intake for the SI. I really appreciate that, man. Good looking out. As soon as I get the car back, I will bring that to you. So, let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what you guys think about. Let me know what you guys think about this transition. And uh, let me know if you guys have any advice for me with, uh, with the SI, with the warranty company, dealership, whatever. Maybe you guys have similar stories. Comment down below. Um, and one other thing guys, I picked up this new shirt from uh, Tuned in Tokyo. It's a pretty cool shirt, uh, fresh burnouts made daily, Tuned in Tokyo. Um, I really like their website, they got some pretty dope stuff, you might want to check them out. And no, I am not sponsored. But before I leave guys, look, I am really moving, like all my stuff is packed. I even have a storage unit that I just put my, my whole bed in, my dressers, tools and whatnot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, stay tuned. I'm definitely gonna try to upload a lot more often. And definitely um, the car, like the whole JDM culture, that's definitely never gonna leave this channel because those are my roots. That is what I love to do. Like I completely, like that's it's my biggest passion. So don't like, that, that stuff's not going anywhere. But um, other than that, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for many more to come. Comment down below what you guys wanna see. And uh, peace out, guys.